Constance Talmadge was a trailblazing actress who made her mark in the early 20th century film industry. Born in Wenidina, 98, Talmadge began her career in silent films and quickly became one of the most popular and highly paid stars of her time. Throughout her career, Talmadge appeared in over 100 films and was known for her comedic timing, expressive face, and ability to portray complex emotions on screen. She starred in a number of successful films, including Intolerance, The Social Secretary, and her sister from Paris. Talmadge was also a savvy businesswoman and played an active role in the production and distribution of her films. She formed her own production company, Constance Talmadge Film Company, and was one of the first actresses to demand creative control and ownership of her work. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout her career, including the transition from silent films to talkies, Talmadge remained a prominent figure in Hollywood and continued to act until her retirement in the 1930s. Her contributions to the film industry and her trailblazing spirit continue to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers today. Constance Talmadge was a popular actress during the silent film era. You might have first recognized her in movies like The Social Secretary or Intolerance. Her unique style and expressive acting set her apart from her contemporaries. We'd love to hear about your first encounter with her or any memorable experiences related to this classic star. There's more to Constance Talmadge than meets the eye. Stay tuned to learn about some surprising, funny, and even sad facts about her life and career. So, keep watching this video to discover more about this fascinating star. Constance Talmadge, a prominent actress during the silent film era, was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1898. She was the daughter of respected portrait photographer Frederick Talmadge and his wife, Peggy. Constance's upbringing was middle class, and she had two sisters, Norma and Natalie, who also became actresses. From a young age, Constance was exposed to the world of entertainment through her father's photography business, which often involved capturing images of famous actors and actresses. This early exposure sparked her interest in acting and performing. Constance's older sister, Norma, was her first key influence and mentor in the acting world. Norma was already an established actress when Constance began her career, and she provided guidance and support to her younger sister. Constance often credited Norma with helping her break into the industry and find success. Another significant influence on Constance's career was the famous director, D.W. Griffith. She appeared in several of his films, including Intolerance and The Love Flower, and he helped her develop her acting skills and hone her craft. Constance's family, upbringing, and early exposure to the world of entertainment all played a crucial role in shaping her path as an actress. With the support and guidance of her sister and mentors like D.W. Griffith, Constance Talmadge became one of the most celebrated actresses of the silent film era. Constance Talmadge was a significant figure in the early Hollywood film industry. Born in 1898, she became one of the most popular actresses of the 1910s and 1920s, known for her comedic roles and striking beauty. Talmadge's success in silent films was due to her ability to convey emotions through physical comedy and facial expressions. She appeared in over 100 films during her career, including Intolerance, The Social Secretary, and The Venus Model. Talmadge's influence extended beyond her acting roles. She was a savvy businesswoman who established her own production company, Constance Talmadge Film Company, in 1919. This move allowed her to have more control over her career and salary, which was unusual for women in the film industry at the time. Despite facing personal and professional challenges, including the end of her marriage and the decline of silent films, Talmadge remained a respected and admired figure in Hollywood. She retired from acting in the late 1920s and passed away in 1973, leaving behind a legacy as a trailblazing actress and entrepreneur. Overall, Constance Talmadge's contributions to the film industry and her influence on future generations of actresses make her worth celebrating. Her talent, business acumen, and resilience continue to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Constance Talmadge, a talented actress from the early 20th century, discovered her passion for acting during her childhood. Raised in a family that loved the theater, she and her sisters often put on plays for their family and neighbors. Constance was always eager to take on the leading roles 
and would spend hours rehearsing her lines and perfecting her character's movements. One pivotal experience that fueled Constance's desire to pursue a career in acting was when she and her sister Natalie attended a performance of Ada at the Metropolitan Opera in New York City. The grandeur of the production and the powerful performances of the actors left a lasting impression on Constance. She turned to her sister and said, I want to be on that stage, making people feel the way I feel right now. After this experience, Constance began taking acting lessons and performing in local theater productions. Her natural talent and dedication quickly caught the attention of industry professionals, and she was soon offered a contract with a major film studio. From there, Constance's career took off, and she became one of the most popular and respected actresses of her time. Throughout her career, Constance remained passionate about her craft and was always looking for new ways to challenge herself as an actress. She was known for her versatility and her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters, making her a true icon of the silent film era. Constance Talmadge, an actress known during the silent film era, was referred to as a virtuous tramp by Irving Berlin and described as one of the few genuine femme fatales by Anita Luce. In 1918, she married John Fallon in a double wedding with Dorothy Gish and James Rennie. Her birth year is often debated, with 1888, 1899, and 19 being the most common guesses. However, her tombstone states that she was born in 93 and lived until 1973. Despite the uncertainty around her birth year, there is no denying her impact on the film industry during the silent film era. Constance Talmadge, a talented actress, faced numerous challenges in her early career. Born into a family of actors, she was no stranger to the spotlight. However, financial struggles were a constant obstacle. Despite their theatrical background, Constance's family often lived in poverty. To help make ends meet, Constance and her sisters, Norma and Natalie, worked as child models. As Constance grew older, she turned to acting, where she encountered industry skepticism. At the time, many people doubted her potential for success. However, Constance remained determined and resilient. She began her film career in 1910, working for a number of studios before finding success with Triangle Film Corporation. Constance's creativity and hard work paid off, and she soon became one of the most popular actresses of the 1920s. She was known for her comedic timing and her ability to play a wide range of characters. Despite the challenges she faced, Constance never lost sight of her goals and always found ways to overcome obstacles. In addition to her acting talent, Constance was also a savvy businesswoman. She recognized the importance of controlling her own career and negotiated favorable contracts with the studios. She also started her own production company, Constance Talmadge Film Corporation, in 1921. Constance's resilience and determination serve as an inspiration to aspiring actors and business people alike. Her story is a testament to the power of hard work, creativity, and perseverance in the face of adversity. Constance Talmadge, a well-known actress during the 1910s and 1920s, had a close friendship with Marion Davies. The two often worked together and were prominent figures in Hollywood. In 1927, the Talmadge sisters, which included Constance and her sisters Norma, and Natalie ventured into real estate with the opening of Talmadge Park in San Diego, California. The development is now known as the Talmadge District, featuring streets named after each sister. The district is located about one mile southwest of the San Diego State University campus. Interestingly, Constance Talmadge's image appears on the cover of the music CD Electro Swing Fever Ball 3, released in 2014. This unexpected appearance on a modern album cover speaks to Talmadge's enduring popularity and cultural significance even decades after her death. Despite the passage of time, her legacy continues to resonate with new generations of fans and admirers. Constance Talmadge, a significant figure in early Hollywood, experienced several breakthrough moments throughout her career. In 1916, she starred in Intolerance, directed by D.W. Griffith, which was a groundbreaking project at the time. The film, though commercially unsuccessful initially, is now regarded as a cinematic masterpiece. Her performance in this epic film helped establish her as a serious actress. In 1921, Talmadge starred in The Sign on the Door, which was a critical success. 
The film showcased her ability to handle dramatic roles, gaining her recognition from both peers and critics. This role was a turning point in her career, demonstrating her range as an actress and solidifying her status as a leading lady. Another notable achievement was her role in A Son of His Father. Her performance in this film was highly praised, with critics commending her comedic timing and emotional depth. This performance further cemented her reputation as a versatile actress capable of excelling in various genres. Throughout her career, Constance Talmadge left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her contributions were not just limited to her acting prowess, but also extended to her production company, Constance Talmadge Film Company, which she established in 1919. This venture allowed her to have more control over her projects and further showcase her talent and creativity. Constance Talmadge was the daughter of Margaret Talmadge and sister to Norma Talmadge. The two sisters, along with Anita Lewis, author of Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, attended Erasmus Hall High School in Brooklyn, joining a long list of entertainment luminaries who have gone on to great success. Constance and Norma's impact on Hollywood is commemorated with Talmadge Street in Hollywood, California, which runs along the west side of the former Vitagraph studio where they made some of their movies in the 1910s. This street is now the site of the ABC Television Center, home to KABC-TV. Direct quotes from Peg Talmadge, their mother, were used by Anita Luz for the wisecracks of Lorelei Lee and Dorothy in her novel. The Talmadge sisters' legacy continues to be celebrated and remembered in the world of entertainment. Constance Talmadge, a prominent actress during the silent film era, was known for her unique approach to acting. She had a knack for conveying emotions and stories through her facial expressions and body language, since dialogue was not a major part of silent films. Talmadge's artistic vision was deeply rooted in her ability to connect with her characters on a personal level, allowing her to portray them in a way that felt authentic and engaging to audiences. Her acting style was subtle yet powerful, often relying on small gestures and nuanced expressions to communicate the complexities of her characters. Talmadge was also known for her comedic timing and ability to bring humor to her roles, adding a layer of depth and entertainment to her performances. Much of Talmadge's unique approach to acting can be traced back to her personal experiences and worldview. Growing up in a family of performers, she was exposed to the world of entertainment from a young age. This early exposure allowed her to develop a deep understanding and appreciation for the craft of acting as well as a unique perspective on how to bring characters to life on screen. Talmadge's personal experiences also informed her character choices and the stories she told through her acting. She often selected roles that allowed her to explore complex emotions and situations, drawing on her own life experiences to add depth and authenticity to her performances. In addition to her acting talent, Talmadge was also known for her fashion sense and glamorous image. She was often photographed in stylish outfits and accessories, both on and off the screen, and her fashion choices helped to establish her as a style icon of the era. Overall, Constance Talmadge's artistic vision and process were deeply rooted in her personal experiences and worldview. Her unique approach to acting, characterized by subtle gestures and nuanced expressions, allowed her to bring her characters to life in a way that felt authentic and engaging to audiences. Her comedic timing, fashion sense, and glamorous image further added to her appeal and established her as a prominent figure in the world of silent film. Constance Talmadge, known as Dutch due to her blonde hair and brown eyes, was a popular silent film star. She had appeared in 83 films between 1914 and 1929, but declined to take the voice test for the new talkie medium. Instead, she made one last silent film in France before retiring from the screen. Talmadge was interviewed in Stuart Olderman's Talking to the Piano Player silent film stars, writers, and directors remember. In the interview, she discussed her experiences in the film industry and her decision to retire from acting. As a child, Talmadge was a chubby tomboy, but she eventually grew into a beautiful and talented actress. She became one of the most popular stars of the silent film era known for her comedic timing and expressive face. Despite the rise of talkies, Talmadge remained committed to silent films and continued to make them until her retirement. Her decision to retire from acting was a loss for the film industry as she was a talented and beloved actress. 
In total, Talmadge had a successful career in the film industry, appearing in 83 films over the course of 15 years. While she may be best known for her work in silent films, her impact on the industry was significant and enduring. Constance Talmadge was a significant figure in the early Hollywood film industry. She was a popular actress during the 1910s and 1920s, known for her comedic roles and striking beauty. Talmadge appeared in over 200 films and was one of the highest paid actresses of her time. Talmadge's impact on the film industry can still be felt today. She was a pioneer in the use of close-ups and facial expressions to convey emotion, which became a staple of silent film acting. Her comedic timing and physical comedy skills were also highly influential. Industry experts and those inspired by Talmadge have praised her contributions to film. Film historian Kevin Brownlow described Talmadge as one of the most delightful comedians of the silent screen. Director Martin Scorsese has cited Talmadge as an influence on his own filmmaking, particularly her use of facial expressions and physical comedy. Talmadge's influence can also be seen in the work of modern actresses. Actresses such as Meryl Streep and Judi Dench have cited Talmadge as an inspiration for their own comedic performances. In addition to her impact on acting techniques, Talmadge was also a trailblazer for women in the film industry. She was one of the first actresses to start her own production company, Constance Talmadge Film Company, giving her more control over her career and creative decisions. Overall, Constance Talmadge's contributions to the film industry were numerous and significant. Her innovative acting techniques and trailblazing role as a female filmmaker have left a lasting impact on the industry and continue to inspire actors and filmmakers today. Constance Talmadge was not only an actress, but also a trailblazer in the film industry. She was the younger sister of Norma and Natalie Talmadge, an aunt to Buster Keaton Jr. and Bob Talmadge. Constance left an indelible mark in Hollywood history by being one of the first individuals to place her footprints and handprints in the forecourt of Grauman's Chinese Theater in 1927. What sets Constance's panel apart is her unique approach. Instead of standing in the cement and leaving two footprints like everyone else, she walked across it, leaving five footprints behind. This distinctive method has made her panel a standout piece in the theater's collection, located directly behind the box office. Her creative thinking and individuality continue to resonate within the film industry, inspiring future generations of artists. Constance Talmadge, a renowned actress during the silent film era, led a life that was not just limited to her professional sphere. She had a deep love for animals and was known to keep various pets, including dogs and monkeys, on her movie sets. This love for animals often found its way into her work as she would often feature her furry friends in her films. Apart from her love for animals, Talmadge was also passionate about fashion and was known for her impeccable style both on and off the screen. She was often seen wearing the latest trends and even had a hand in designing some of her own costumes for her films. Talmadge was also deeply committed to various philanthropic efforts. She was a generous supporter of the Red Cross and often used her platform to raise awareness and funds for the organization. Additionally, she was involved in various charitable efforts aimed at helping children and animals in need. Talmadge's personal values and interests, such as her love for animals and fashion, often found their way into her work, adding depth and personality to her characters. Her philanthropic efforts and commitment to giving back to her community further highlight her compassionate and caring nature. Overall, Constance Talmadge was not just an accomplished actress, but also a woman with a deep love for animals, fashion, and community service. Her personal values and interests informed her work and helped her create memorable and enduring characters on the silver screen. Constance Talmadge, known as the ex-sister-in-law of Buster Keaton, George Jessel, and Joseph M. Schenck, spent most of her marriage to Townsend Netcher in Chicago with him and his mother, Molly Netcher Newberry. Molly was the owner of the upscale Boston store. On January 20, 1936, while Constance was visiting her sister Norma in Florida, an unexpected incident occurred in Chicago. Four mass burglars broke into Townsend and Molly's apartment during a dinner party at a friend's Lincoln Park West apartment. The burglars took 45 in cash and left with the apartment owner's young son, 
whom they held captive in the building's basement. They released the boy before fleeing, leaving behind valuable silverware and jewelry. The Chicago PD suspected that Constance was the intended target of a kidnapping, but Townsend and the apartment owner disputed this theory. Despite the incident, Constance continued to live in Chicago with her husband and mother-in-law for some time. Her connection to this event highlights a lesser known aspect of her life, revealing that even stars of the silver screen can be affected by unexpected and dramatic events. Constance Talmadge was a significant figure in the early years of Hollywood. She left a lasting legacy in the film industry with her comedic talent and acting range. Her work in silent films, such as Intolerance and The Social Secretary, showcased her ability to captivate audiences and leave a lasting impression. For those aspiring to follow in her footsteps, Talmadge would likely advise them to hone their craft, continually learn and grow, and not be afraid to take risks. She was known for her willingness to experiment with different roles and genres, which helped her stand out in a bustling industry. Talmadge's future contributions to the industry may have taken many forms, from mentoring up-and-coming actors to advocating for women's roles both on and off-screen. Her impact on the film industry was undeniable, and her legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. In short, Constance Talmadge's advice for aspiring professionals in the film industry would be to work hard, take risks, and always strive to improve one's craft. Her own career serves as a testament to the power of these principles, and her legacy continues to resonate with audiences and industry professionals today. Constance Talmadge, a prominent figure in the silent film era, experienced a tragic loss in her personal life. Her younger sister, Natalie Talmadge, married Buster Keaton, a successful comedian and actor, in 1921. However, their marriage was far from happy. Buster Keaton was known for his practical jokes and drinking habits, which led to a tumultuous relationship. In 1932, Natalie left Keaton and took their two sons with her. The divorce was finalized in 1936, and Keaton never saw his sons again. This tragic event had a significant impact on Constance Talmadge, who was very close to her sister and nephews. Constance Talmadge was a passionate and innovative actress who left an enduring impact on the entertainment industry. Born in Woody 1898, she began her film career in 1914 and quickly became a popular star, known for her comedic timing and expressive acting style. Throughout her career, Talmadge demonstrated a remarkable ability to take on a wide range of roles, from comedic leading ladies to dramatic protagonists. She was not afraid to push boundaries and try new things, constantly seeking to innovate and improve her craft. Talmadge's impact on the entertainment industry can still be felt today. She was a trailblazer for women in film, proving that they could be just as successful and influential as their male counterparts. Her passion, creativity, and perseverance continue to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. In the end, the power of creativity and perseverance cannot be overstated. Constance Talmadge's journey is a testament to the fact that with hard work, dedication, and a little bit of innovation, anyone can leave their mark on the world. Her legacy serves as a reminder that we all have the potential to make a difference, no matter what our passions or pursuits may be. If you're a fan of classic films, you won't want to miss the work of Constance Talmadge, a truly remarkable actress. With her captivating performances, she left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Talmadge's career spanned over two decades, and she starred in many popular films during the 1910s and 1920s. Some of her most notable roles include Intolerance, The Social Secretary, and Her Sister from Paris. Her talent and dedication to her craft have made her a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. If you've seen her work, we'd love to hear your thoughts on her performances and legacy in the comments below. And if you're new to Constance Talmadge's films, we encourage you to check them out and share your impressions with us. We believe that celebrating the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment is essential, and we're committed to bringing you more content that highlights their contributions. So if you enjoy our posts, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel for more. Together, let's keep the legacy of talented actors and actresses like Constance Talmadge alive for future generations to enjoy.